Good morning, it's Riley here. Today is Tuesday, October 8th. Today for lunch we are having an Italian panini, broccoli and diced pears. Applications are now being accepted for this year's Outstanding Young Woman Scholarship Program. In addition to being a fun-filled learning experience, last year the Outstanding Young Woman Program awarded over $24,000 in cash scholarships and over $60,000 in tuition scholarship assistance from various colleges and universities. Any junior class girl interested in participating in this year's Outstanding Young Women Scholarship Program can pick up an application in the guidance office, or you can print out an application online by going to the OYW website, www.cambriasomersetoyw.org. Be sure to check out Cambria Somerset OYW on Facebook for additional activities and information. Good luck to the following students at their Junior High Forensics Competition at Bellwood today. Laura Lynn Lehman, Haley Dezerko, Molly Berkheimer, Izzy Harris, Ariana Hill, Logan Lamb, Larissa McKee, Hannah Faulkner, Emma Stasiak, Ivy Maris, Parker Flanagan, Ashley Floyd, Ashley Huboff, Layla Gray, Libby Fulmar, and Gabe Elliott. The application deadline for the Conma Memorial Medical Center Career Day has been extended to October 18th. Please stop by the counseling office if you are interested in applying. Any student who is interested in varsity forensics should sign up on the sheet outside of Mrs. Cassie Thomas's room, room 222 in the high school. There will be an informational meeting tomorrow at 2.30 in Mrs. Thomas's room. If anyone is unable to attend the meeting, please see Mrs. Thomas for information prior to this date. The PBIS store will be open on Friday from 7.15 a.m. to 8 a.m. and during lunch periods. Prices have been updated and there have been some new items added. The first quarterly incentive will be held on Friday, October 18th at Camp Hamilton and it will cost five Rambler Bucks to attend. The cost for GJCTC students will be three Rambler Bucks. Students can sign up for the incentive in the morning and at lunch. Attention seniors, if you plan to select your senior portrait that was taken by Strawbridge Photography, the selection time will be after October 25th. Details will be given closer to the time. If you chose to portrait purchase a senior portrait from a private photographer, those proofs need to be submitted to Mrs. Young or Mrs. Mercik by school email prior to November 11th. This will guarantee that your senior portrait will be in the yearbook. Attention juniors, this is a reminder to be working on your practice PSAT questions for the upcoming PSAT on October 16th. Attention sophomores, if you are interested in taking the PSAT this year, please stop by the counseling office for a permission slip and booklet. Sign-ups for winter sports are now located in the library. If you are intending to play a winter sport, please make sure you sign up by Tuesday, October 15th. Sign-up sheets will be removed at the end of the day on the 15th. College admissions counselors will be here to speak with students during Core Plus More on the following days. Today, California University and Thursday, Carlo University. Any junior or senior interested in speaking with one of these representatives, please stop in the guidance office for a pass. Attention seniors, if you are someone who is interested in art and would be interested in submitting a, a design to potentially be on the senior class t-shirt, please submit your design to Mason Toth by Friday. All submissions will be considered. That's all for now. Have a great day. Tuesday will be partly cloudy and the high temperature will be around 60 degrees. Throughout the evening, as the sun goes down, the temperature will decrease as well. The low temperature for the evening is estimated to be only 46 degrees. The evenings are beginning to feel more frigid, which means it's probably time to invest in some fuzzy slippers. Further in the week, we will see a continuation of mostly sunny skies. The weekend has a strong chance of PM showers, so, uh, so we anticipate bringing an umbrella to any outdoor festivities. Good morning, this is Drew with your Wimber Sports Report. Girls Varsity Soccer plays away against Berlin starting at 4 o'clock. Girls Varsity Volleyball plays home against Shanksville starting at 7.15. Good luck to all of our teams. Name that photo.
the PBIS team uses a proactive and consistent approach to create a predictable, safe, and positive school-wide culture that promotes academic achievement, acceptable behavior, and the overall wellness of all students. No, no, no! You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.